Been making trips to high school football spring practice all month long and tonight we kick off week three of 33 teams in 33 days. Checking in with Mobile Christian where Ronnie Cottrell is entering his eighth year leading the program and says this could be one of the best teams he's had yet. The Lepers are coming off a great season finishing seven and three on the field. However, they had to forfeit four games due to an ineligible player dropping them to fourth in the region. Despite the tougher path, Mobile Christian made a playoff run to the 3A state semifinals. Several underclassmen stepped up last year, most notably on the defensive side, where eight starters returned to a group that gave up just 14 points per game. Coach Cottrell has been pleased with the leadership this spring and hopes it translates to an even better season ahead. We retained a lot of the talent, a lot of the stars of the defense. We really feel like that's going to be the difference in our team. I've always felt like if you have a good defense team, you have a chance, and uh, this will be the best defense we've put on the field since I've been here. But we're at a very special school. Mobile Christian is a really special place. And, you know, when the game's on the line, our guys have traditionally showed up to play. And this group of guys has really proven itself already on the field. I can't wait to see what they do when they're a little older. You know, they played as young players. And this will be the, uh, the this junior class and this senior class are guys we've had for quite a while and have really done a good job. So I can't wait to see them do their thing. And here's a look at the top guys returning for the Leopards this season. Sterling Dixon, the Alabama commit, posted 172 tackles and 18 sacks as a junior last season. He was named the 3A Lineman of the Year. Fellow linebacker Cantonio Kelly, a rising junior, had 123 tackles to go along with two interceptions. Staying on the defensive side, Camden Lawson, another veteran returner for Mobile Christian. And in the trenches for the Leopards, Bo Cagle, an all-state offensive lineman. He's played varsity since seventh grade. Um, practice has been great. Uh, the guys are coming out and giving it all, and we just can't ask for nothing, nothing more. Um, we just really got to just keep working. We're capitalizing on our mistakes from last year. We're going back on film, watching, and just making sure we don't make the same mistakes. Everybody's taking mental reps. We know we did wrong last year, so this year we're looking to just go a little bit further with it. Oh, it's feels good to be back, and we just come back to be better. Just try to work on to be a better leader, you know, just lead the team and just bring the energy every practice. We're definitely hungry. Um, we expect nothing less than a state championship. That's what everybody out here is working for. And the Leopards will finish spring practice on Thursday in a jamboree played at the University of Southern Miss. Several local high schools expected to attend.